COVID-19 continues to haunt the world in 2021. One of the worst hit countries being India. With a population of over a billion, India is fighting a tough battle against the virus. With 300,000 cases every day, it is a very scary situation to be in. As people's oxygen levels drop, there's a scarcity in oxygen concentrators. There's a scarcity in other COVID relief resources in India. And this is the time we show empathy and humanity. Dr. Lim is the founder of DXN and SIF. DXN is a world-leading company in Ganoderma products. DXN's high regard for quality earned the company many outstanding citations and recognitions from various health and business organizations. Dr. Lim is a humanitarian. He has been appointed as the Goodwill Ambassador for his humanitarian gestures and support in promoting food security, education, health, development and peace. And this time, once again, he has undertaken this Goodwill project. Hi, good morning. Dr. Lim here. Recently, the social media in Malaysia are covering the second wave of COVID pandemic in India. We are shocked and heartbroken to see so many people suffering. Many waiting for hours in front of the hospital. There are so many fatal cases that the dead bodies have to be cremated in open air. The sins are touching the heart of the people here and there is a movement calling for donations to help the people in India. Even the situation in Malaysia is equally bad with full lockdown in many places now. One of the leading Buddhist groups, Fokong San, means uh, the mountain of uh, Radiant Buddha has mobilized the public in Malaysia to donate and help our Indian brothers and sisters. We have seen uh, many patients in India lacking the supply of oxygen. The leadership in Fokong San immediately asked for the donation to purchase the oxygen concentrator in to India. The response is tremendous. In hardly a week's time, Fokong San managed to collect enough donation to buy 100 sets of oxygen concentrators and requested my help to export to India. Our chief, Sunyati International Foundation, also respond quickly and coordinate all necessary authorities so that the import of the oxygenator will be smooth and done quickly. While we were re preparing the import formalities, Pokongsa managed to collect another 100 sets. Now. So some of it are donated by DXN. So totally 200 sets are were collected to donate to India. The manufacturer in China also responded very fast and delivered the machines quickly. Today, Fokong San shall send all the 200 sets to Hyderabad together with other donations like masks, PPE and related medical supplies. SIF is happy and honored to be able to help in this donation to India to fight the COVID. We are helping FGS to distribute the oxygen concentrator throughout India. SIP and a group of doctors also set up a COVID management center to help the COVID patients to fight the disease. I hope many of you can become volunteers to our centers. Together, we shall see the pandemic over soon in India. I'm giving this short message to all of you, that people around the world, including, including those in Malaysia, are strongly behind India to fight the spreading of COVID. Let us work hand in hand to help our brothers and sisters to overcome this pandemic. Take care and see you again. Fo Kuang Shan has mobilized the public in Malaysia and collected donations for medical facilities. DXN has taken part in this donation drive to provide essential medical facilities to the people in India. Tied up with Suniti International, based in India, they have aimed at donating 200 oxygen concentrators along with other essential healthcare facilities. This was a collective team effort of humanity. The manufacturers in China were quick to respond and provide the medical facilities. Many people worked continuously for this operation.
exported to India from Malaysia. Once the healthcare supplies landed in Hyderabad, India, Sunyati International Foundation received them to distribute them free of cost to various hospitals. These supplies have now been delivered to many hospitals where people in need would be receiving them. These healthcare facilities will be delivered to hospitals all across India in various states. The government of India and the government of Telangana have shown great support by clearing the consignment free of any tax or GST. This initiative to help out fellow human beings is extremely touching. By receiving these essential facilities, the people of India have now gained more strength in fighting this disease. Together, we will emerge strong again.